Good afternoon, my name is Cole. And my name is Morgan. And today, we're talking about homeowner's insurance. All right, this afternoon, I'm here with Morgan with Country Financial. Today, we're gonna to be talking about homeowner's insurance. We're gonna talk about what is homeowner's insurance, we're gonna talk about what to consider when purchasing home insurance, and we're also gonna talk about what the modern day problems are with homeowner's insurance. So with no more time wasted, we're gonna get right into it. Well, like we already said, my name's Morgan, and uh, I'm from Bo, uh, Washington, which is a little ways away from here. And uh, I'm from a family of 10, which everyone says that's pretty crazy. And I don't want that many kids at all, though. <laughs> People always ask me, man, you, really love insurance and I'm like well no one really loves insurance but we do make a difference in people's lives um, so what brought me to insurance was I used to be a wildland firefighter uh, for the DNR and that was really boring so I decided to do something way more exciting so uh, my dad is actually an insurance agent for Country Financial as well and people always say that I must know a ton growing up in an insurance household then they're like man you've got 23 years of experience doing insurance. And as you know, if you grow up in any household, you ask what your dad does and you don't really care as long as you have food on the table and you gotta do the sports that you want. Yeah. So, but I have him as a tutor. And for why I picked insurance is, my dad was the best dad that I could ever ask for and I wanted to just follow in his footsteps. Yeah, that's a good question. I would say it protects the greatest asset in your life, which is your house. It covers you from tons of different things depending on what coverages you want, but the main things are if your house burns down or if there's a huge storm or a tree falls on it, uh, we'll be the people that show up and give you a check so you can have your house back again. Fantastic, and after something like that occurs, how long does that process take from the time that a disaster occurs or whatever happens to getting a check and what should people be aware of during that process? Yeah, it can, it can really vary yeah. depending on what goes on. The insurance company very quickly tells you, hey, this is how much coverage you have and this is how much you can go for. And a lot of times the contractors don't even ask for anything until the end because they already have seen a bid from the insurance company. So you don't need to worry about, man, I don't have the money today because they're probably not gonna give you the check today. They just know you're good for it because you work with a company that's good for it. I'd say the, the biggest problem, and it's actually a pretty huge one, is if you're listening to this, your house is probably uninsured. Uh, there's two huge reasons that lead to that. One, and I'm sure you've heard it so, so, so many times, inflation. That's really killing everyone's house coverage. And then the second one is the building costs. Contractors can charge a huge amount, and then two, with supply chain issues, it's making things super expensive. So this used to be counteracted by just an insurance policy going up. So let's say you have $400,000 worth of coverage. Usually every single year from last year to this year, it'll increase by 10% or something like that. But because of the increased cost and then also the inflation, 10% wasn't an enough gap. So usually it follows every year with how much things cost, they coincide with each other. But recently, the costs have just ramped up so high, everyone's insurance just has a huge gap between the two. How much it costs and how much coverage you actually have. If they haven't met with me in three or four years, or a competitor, if I see a quote from them, I see that their house is somewhere between 10 to 20% underinsured. So your house burns down, you're gonna have to take out a loan about you know, $80,000, $100,000 to just rebuild back your house. How do I fix that? That's, you will have to pay more. Right, that's just how, how it works. works. The thing is you're paying 100 bucks a year to get $100,000 more worth of coverage. You know, mm -hmm. you're betting on your house not burning down, but if it does, you'd say, I am so glad I spent 100 extra dollars. The, the number one thing, even more important than price, I'd say is trust. Uh, there's kind of two things, I, I didn't realize this, and. Because I didn't realize this, I came home after my first week of insurance to my family and I said, you guys are all ungrateful to Roger. And that's my dad who's been doing insurance for 23 years. I said, you don't realize how stressful it is. And they're like, well, what do you mean? And what we say, people trust us. 
if you don't trust your insurance agent, that's a huge problem. So somebody picks up the phone and calls me and says, hey, Morgan, is this covered? And I say, yes, that my word is law in that situation. What, whatever I, I say goes, and what if I was wrong? Do you trust your insur insurance agent to actually know their product and to tell you the truth about it? You know, not worry about hurting your feelings or the cost mm -hmm. of getting better coverage so that is covered. Do you trust them to do the right thing by you? Do you trust them more than it matters about the price, right? So sometimes I tell my client, hey, you're underinsured. This is a really bad thing if we don't get up and meet together and figure out what the problem was. Have you had anyone, any clients that have suffered great losses like that? Uh, I fortunately have not had that situation. Um, my, my dad, Roger, who I work with, he's had a couple houses burned down and he's also had to give out a couple different life insurance policies for families who've had people pass away. So pretty sobering, but also a grateful moment for him to be able to say, hey, here's a check. This will change your life. Yeah, most definitely. Morgan, I really appreciate your time on yeah. the lecture hall today. I hope you all got great information. I learned <laughs> a, a bunch from Morgan. And it sounds like homeowner's insurance is something you should take extremely seriously, right? Because when you deal with catastrophic losses on the greatest asset that you have, it can be a problem. It's a mathematical formula for a problem. So I hope that you got great value of it. I'm gonna give Morgan's contact information in the bottom of the video as well, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Oh.